styling this shit go boom, bang, like boomerang slang when we come back. Every man, every woman hype on the track. Face me freaking, get the shit we speaking, tweaking on the floor, you want more. Music is our addiction, get the friction, like a needle to the record, come up with the itch shit, itch shit, fiction, fashion, tactics. Everybody know it's every man come back quick. Yeah, you coming with the hip hop sound, it's not dead, resurrected right now. So let's do this. Let me start by taking this so that you can actually see me. The helmet. It's actually not too hot, but because I've been skating, I feel a bit warmer. Okay, let's do this. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo and I'm a wheel addict. I'm about to review the Razors SL DH2. DH for Derek Anderson 2, obviously, because it's the second pro skate from Derek. And let me start with the wheels. These skates come with, I still don't know the durometer, but they come with some black 64 millimeters ground control Derek Anderson wheels. And we don't start the best way because these wheels, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that every single skate on the market comes with good stock wheels. And I'm not going to say that these are bad wheels, but I'm going to say that at least with me, and I'm heavy, I'm an heavy skater, I, I weighed about 94 kilos, so these skates felt a bit slow. Especially because I'm rolling 64s, I was expecting them to roll a bit faster. But yeah, anti-rocker 64s felt a bit slow. But that's about it, because actually <laughs> I really enjoyed <laughs> the rest of the skate like the frame it's of course not the first time that i've skated a ground control feather light tree frame and i like it man i, I like it a lot i i've said it when i made the first impressions of this skate that it feels just like everything it's so easy of course this is more of an anti-rocker skate you can skate with five with four times 55 or something like that but you will have a lot of wheel bite but if you skate with this and i skated these skates completely stock with um with the grind rocks which is these anti-rocker wheels without bearings and pff, there was not one single time that i felt stuck yes i was skating in the park but i know my skates enough you know it's 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 just slides super fast when you do soul tricks or negative tricks or even topside tricks there's these um, carved walls that reduce the amount of surface touching the grind and these makes the grinds extremely fast also something that I, I find it quite interesting is even my wife asked is it normal that this piece in the middle is a little bit synced in like the backslide plate yes it is they made it on purpose so that there's less surface touching while you do a soul grind or a topside trick and they feel great they do feel amazing it's honestly very easy negatives negatives very easy to do royal tricks very easy torques let's be honest here after tom's last video complaining about people stepping into backslides torques tour rolls i was feeling bad so <laughs> i had to make one of those torques that i actually jump and then actually I don't step into my torques as I usually do. I don't do that with every single skate. I don't do that with a flat skate, especially at the moment. Maybe back in the day. Nowadays, I don't feel as much confidence to do a frontside torque to grab it in the air and lock it like properly. With these, man, it just felt so easy because I knew I didn't have to lock. Check this. I, I don't have to bend that much. So I knew the boot was going to touch. I know once the boot touches, there's no way of getting stuck, especially if this, the rail was waxed so yeah so good so 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 good sliding tricks grinding tricks i can actually say if you like grinds honestly this is it this is a skate that makes most of the technical tricks easy it's a bit like the shadow skates that are like you had like big backslide plates big um, sole plates and a nice fast frame it's it's a bit like that i wish it was a bit faster the wheels didn't felt really really fast to me maybe if even if they were just white usually the white compound on the urethane 
it's closer to the natural color of the urethane it's usually a bit faster but i also understand derek is like is the type of skater that likes black stuff and yeah i get it he wanted his name in something that he likes the looks and i like the look of it i just once again, I wish they were a bit faster. So when I made the first impressions, people kept on saying that the SL standard for super light. I'm not gonna say that they feel super light, but I didn't felt these skates heavy. Like I would feel the skate like lighter if I would be skating like a carbon skate super tight around my foot. But if I use a carbon skate super tight around my foot, I won't have the same ability that I have inside these, like to do top side tricks once again, backslide torques and all that stuff. So yeah, they felt amazing. I like how aligned this <laughs> backslide plate is but it's also it's aligned but it's wide enough for those of you like myself that don't do your torques like completely parallel or your backslides those ones that do their full torques a bit like shifted to the side with these skates it's kind of like the skate throws you back into the position because of the groove yeah an amazing grind skate for sure now the boot the shell itself. I said it on my first impressions that I thought it would be a bit big for me. I'm a size 43. This is a size 43 liner and the shell, well, yeah, I would love to tell you what the shell is. This is the size 10, 11. That's probably why I felt this a bit bigger than I wanted. But let's be honest here, like, no one is doing one size shell per boot. Everyone is doing two sizes. Some companies put different liners, uh, some liners that are adjustable. In fact, Razors don't even do that. They could have done it. They could have done like a 43, 44 skate and they didn't. This is a size 43. Now, if you saw my review of the Ryan V3 liner, which is this one that it comes here in a different colorway. I've said it previously, I love this liner. It's very low profile and that's also probably one of the reasons why I felt that I have a lot of space inside. I know I could change the liner, I could put a couple more insoles that would fill the space a bit more. Yeah, there's things that I can do with it, but I think with a 275 millimeter foot, I could go one size smaller. I should probably be able to fit because the front of the liner is neoprene and on mine, it's, I'm not feeling the space at the end. You could see it right away if my foot would feel this size, it would be a bit more rounded and it's not. So my foot is not coming to the end of the liner too. So yeah, I understand why brands do this too. Most of the people nowadays are buying skates online. Not everyone is having the possibility of trying skates. So it's saying that this is a 275 millimeter skate is obviously going a bit more on the safe side. Now, if you are looking for a skate that fits a bit more performance, like a little bit tighter, make sure to contact your skate shop. So I got this through Adam Skate. I should have actually asked them if I could go the size smaller. I'm pretty sure they would advise me on going that size smaller. But yeah, that is it. Other than that, there's one thing that I need to mention that I did not mention on the last video, and that is this. Boom, Jocelyn. In case you didn't know who Jocelyn is, well, Derek Anderson's daughter is called Jocelyn and that's her signature on the insole of the skate. So I'm really sorry, Derek, that I actually missed it on my first impressions video, but I found it now, so better late than ever, huh? <laughs> it's, I think it's a, it's a very nice touch for a pro model of a, of a dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that one day when I have my pro model. Maybe I'll have Jalen. It's close. Maybe I can even use Jocelyn. Is that okay, Derek? I'll just use the same signature. It's all good. Anyway, other than that, I've also seen some people commenting that they got some of their, their bolts. They got the SLs and they got some of their bolts loose very easily. I did not get any of those problems, but of course I was skating on a skate park and all that. So if I can advise you on something, maybe before you even start skating, make sure that you got everything tight. Use your Allen keys, just tight everything, especially these cuff bolts and the wheel bolts, like these axles here. Important, ground control, screws are not very deep make sure to to check if it's clean inside the bolt add before you insert the the allen key and start spinning and then you'll have a problem also this is a one-sided 
tightening axle. On this side you have the ground control logo so you might not want to tighten your skates too much because if you tighten them too much you're going to start opening this and after a while this creates a problem. Basically the shape starts getting loose and loose and then this creates a problem on the frame so be aware of that and now I've said that the skate feels a bit bigger than I want so in terms of, of telling you how the skate feels if it feels supportive or not I can tell you that it didn't felt like the most supportive skate not in a bad way of course again I believe that I could go one size smaller but also the truth is this is the size that razors say that I should be using so they maybe want people to feel their skates like this a bit a bit loose on the foot I didn't felt like my heel was lifting or anything like that I just felt like I had a lot of freedom inside in order to bend my foot more like doing backslides or torques or top sides or anything like that and to be fully honest with you I don't think I need that because with these sole plates and with this low frame I don't think I would need that but at the same time once again it just made the whole grinding experience easier and if that's what you're going for that's for sure an amazing skate for that now I'm not a very good transition skater like jumping and all that stuff but if you're into that you might need to change some things on this setup maybe it's gonna work for you the 64 millimeter wheels if I would be using this skate to skate ball or transition or something like that I would make sure that I would be using like a taller frame because with such wide sole plates I would very easily touch with the sole plate and just slide out and that that can be dangerous especially if you go high speed and I would go for a flat setup I know that ground control as an example as a frame called the mega which is a 4x64 that could probably work very good maybe even with these wheels maybe if I have four times 64 millimeter wheels maybe it's going to to reduce the pressure that I put on these and maybe it's going to feel faster or maybe it's gonna feel twice as slow I don't know I haven't tried it yet but again I would try these with a different frame especially maybe a flat setup or uh, eye low frame like the wish frame if I would be using transition and maybe a taller frame what else can I say I had no problems at all with these buckles I know that a lot of people complain about the noise and that was also something that my wife said right away when I put the skate she said right away look at those skates look at how they're making noises because when I put my skates on they go if I bend my foot and if the the cuff moves it goes like start squeaking squeaking I know that for some people that can be very annoying obviously there's a known hack that a lot of people have been doing which is you take your your cuffs off you wax them underneath you put wax on the boot maybe wax inside the cuff you tie them back on and that noise is gone no more problems with that one last thing is I actually think that this cuff is too tall for this liner I don't know if, if you understand what I'm trying to say but like not everyone likes to use um, the heel pad that you have on this skate I like it I don't complain about it but I know that some people like a more flat feeling so if for some reason you take that pad that you have on the inside the heel absorbing pad and you put something slimmer and if you use the same liners then you're gonna have problems with your cuff so maybe having a tiny bit taller liner or some slight changes to the cuff would make a difference or if you're like me and if you really have space inside maybe just put the whole insole in between the liner and the heel pad and then you raise it a bit and that won't be a problem I didn't felt like it was touching or anything like that but by looking at it if I pressure especially here on the top I can feel my finger against the this part of the cuff and it's it's kind of like it po it's pointy it could hurt you it didn't hurt you it didn't hurt me at all and yeah that is about it do I like it yes I do do I feel a lot of difference between these and the SLs that I skated like probably seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. Well, probably I felt more difference with my skating than with the skate. I think it's once again a skate that can be very good for technical skaters, can be very good for those that are not that capable of doing technical tricks, but want to skate that facilitate that. So that's what this is so for everyone getting back to skating is this a good skate yes if you want to 
relearn your tricks. If you come from the M12 area where doing a Royale was extremely hard, get this. <laughs> the Royales are very easy with this. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. As I always say, it's a way for you to say thank you. I really appreciate it. whenever you guys subscribe. It's growing. We are closer to 100,000, which I never thought it would be possible. If you want to support what I'm doing here, you can always become a patron or you can always press on that join button and become a member of this channel. And like I always say, let's just never ever forget why we all started skating. And that my friends, with razor skates, with whatever skates you have, we all started skating because it's fun now. Cheers and see you soon. Let me see if I can set slide with this. That was amazing. Let's see with the other one. Switch. Oops. So